Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for a link to my Amazon store, where I've compiled some of the very best items available, including some of my own personal recommendations. Thanks! What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to show with you guys. One that actually has the potential to be a little bit longer, and perhaps even a double, triple, or quadruple unboxing, depending on what's in here. I know that sounds weird, but when people send me stuff, um, depending on what other people have sent me, and what's, you know... It, 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 I have to, you know, figure things out based on what's actually in here. There, that's what's always fun about these unboxings is there is, there's always something organic, you know. I, uh, I, I can't remember every last little thing that's sent to me, so I always tell people, you know, include a note. So anyways, we're going to check that out together. Um, thank you again to all of the very generous patrons who are choosing to support me during this difficult time. It means the world to me. Um, you can check out my Patreon down in the description. There's stickers and exclusive content, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much to people who are willingly supporting me um, during this time. It, it's really awesome. Um, we're going to be unboxing this package today with the Spyderco PM2, which you can find down in the Amazon store that I referenced at the beginning of every single video, along with many others. So feel free to check that out if you're doing some at-home knife shopping. Um, I know that I spend a lot of time at home looking at knives and being around knives, and be that's my life right now. <laughs> so, Okay, we have a Wii knife, or at least a Wii package. We have... A Medford, that's interesting, and we have another Medford, interesting, very, very interesting. Okay, so let's start off with the Wii knife. Very excited to get into, oh, there's two knives in here. Okay, that's coming back to me a little bit. Um, oh gosh, people are going to be so upset with me for not being able to remember the names of these, but that's part of unboxing stuff like this without remembering it. <laughs> I can never remember the name. I really like the um, the ergos on this guy. You know what? It's in a weird way. It reminds me of the Hinder Jurassic. Um, check out the scales on this guy. Micarta, of course, Wii's ability to get the hardware right in my eyes, which is T8. And then they have those nice countersunk screws, the deep carry pocket clip, and what's likely either 9CR18 MOV or D2, depending on what flavor uh, Civivi was wanting to go with for that one. So very cool. And in here I can see we've got a SOG pocket clip. I believe that this is the Terminus. I'm going to feel really stupid if I, oh my gosh, this is a SOG? That's very different. So we have, we have what feels initially kind of like a Benchmade-esque right here. Because of the tension, it feels like Omega Springs, but it's not. It's some type of spring, but that's actually assisting in the flipping action. Very interesting. This is much more impressive than the typical SOG knife. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, S35VN on a SOG. What is going on in today's world, guys? It's, I mean, people always talk about, like, the crazy stuff that's going on in the world, right? And, like... You know, if you could go back in time and tell yourself, like, hey, could you guess this would happen, this would happen? If I went back one year ago and told myself, hey, guess what? SOG comes out with a knife and they put S35VN on it and it actually flips, I'd go, get out of here. Go back to the future, future complex. Okay, next up we have a, well, it's in a Medford box. Is it a, is it a Medford? Well, it's certainly, it's got a pouch and it's got a Medford dog tag. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh, is this the, oh my gosh, is this the Smooth Criminal? Yeah, I think that's what this is. Interesting. <laughs> oh, it's a, okay, so it's a light, I was like, I can't flip it. It's a light, it's more of a light switch flipper. Let's try that again. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to work on this, guys. More of a light switch flipper, but definitely smooth. Absolutely a smooth button lock flipper from Medford. Very interesting. Here's a close-up of that guy and the button. Very comfortable. Um, a little less Medford-esque than I'm used to in terms of thickness. It's still definitely a thick knife, but I think it's pleasantly more carryable <laughs> than your typical Medford knife. Now, you still get this very Medford-esque blade, which is, ooh, it's nice and thin down here. I wonder if the blade stock doesn't look that thick either. Maybe 145 thousandths or so. Let's put it up against the PM2. Yeah, I think that's kind of what we're looking at there. Very cool. That's definitely one I think people are going to be interested to take a look at. And now this guy. I saved it for last because it's heavy. Here we go. This is a little heavier. Do Medford knives 
all come with pouches now, or are they just certain knives and certain calibers? What do we have? This is definitely a bigger, oh yeah, that's right. We have another, <laughs> this is the, uh, this is a 3V187 drop point. So I've reviewed a uh, 187 on this channel already before, but I, when he mentioned that it was flamed and in 3V, I thought, I really don't want to miss the opportunity to handle that because I love myself a big, nasty Medford knife. Absolutely. And these have gone from, you know, the originals that were G10 and D2, they've gone from somewhat underwhelming to really, really good. In fact, at one point, I actually questioned whether or not this was the very best Medford knife that he had ever made in his overbuilt fashion. These are wonderful. I wonder if there's anything in the packaging that might indicate... Well, I'll say this. Um, I can't say his last name, but his name is T. So thanks, T. I will make sure and message you and say thank you directly, which I, by the time you're watching this, I probably have already done. Uh, but thank you so much. By the time we review all these, of course, if you do have Instagram or a YouTube channel or anything that you, know, you want me to mention, then I will for each one of these knives. It's always incredibly generous when people send me things for review, especially, you know, right now when I'm on lockdown and things are becoming less and less likely to be shipped from other people, you know, around the country or in some cases around the world. Um, I, I'm very thankful and I feel very fortunate to have, um, you know, uh, friends that I'm making uh, in this knife world that are willing to send me their, their babies, their treasures, you know, just so that I can um, continue to make content. So thank you so much. I hope you guys were at the very least entertained by this. I'm very excited about each one of these. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this metal complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.